Tonight's special segment, Stopping Snoring. Dentists help keep teeth healthy, but a trip to the dental chair could also help silence snoring. Healthbeat reporter Sylvia Perez joining us tonight to explain. Sylvia? Snoring is often a warning sign of sleep apnea, a debilitating problem that affects an estimated 18 million Americans. It is caused by the repeated collapse of the airway and can cause people to stop breathing throughout the night. That can lead to serious medical problems. The solution is usually a cumbersome machine, but now some dental devices are not only stopping snoring, but offering some patients a chance at a good night's sleep. It looks a lot like a mouth guard or a retainer. But this device is not about protecting teeth. It's designed to stop snoring and help treat sleep apnea. So what if you could use something like this instead of getting strapped up to a machine like this? For Ron Carson, there was no choice. Just couldn't tolerate all the apparatus on my face. Ron's not alone. The CPAP, or Continuous Positive Airway Pressure Machine, blows air in the throat, propping the airway open. It's considered very effective and is the standard of care. But many patients find this too uncomfortable or don't want to sleep with this on their face. Just turn to the side. Snoring has become such a big problem, and with so many people looking for help, general dentists are now stepping up. Two big culprits of sleep apnea are the tongue and soft palate, which can fall back and block the airway while sleeping. Most of these plastic devices fit over the upper and lower teeth to push the jaw and tongue forward to help restore airflow. They're only recommended for mild to moderate cases. The difference in effectiveness is CPAP is set to eliminate apnea events 99% of the time, compared to an estimated 50% for the dental devices. CPAP still remains to be the, the gold standard, but oral appliance therapy definitely has a place in, in treatment for sleep apnea. David Schwartz heads the North Shore Center for Snoring and Sleep Apnea. Patients who can't use CPAP are coming here. Schwartz says before he'll ever consider giving someone an oral appliance, he really wants them to be evaluated by a sleep lab. He says that's just good medicine. And even though this is not as effective as the machine, for some patients it's enough to get the airflow they need for a good night's rest. You're looking at a very happy meal. I was giving my life back. Ear, nose, and throat specialist Michael Friedman says he sometimes prescribes these devices, but warns there are different causes for sleep apnea, and that's why these devices will not help everyone. He adds they can also be difficult to get used to. Many people find it uncomfortable and compliance is a big issue. The latest revolution in dental appliances aims to be more comfortable. The full breath sleep appliance only fits on the upper teeth. It's what Ron Carson is using. Naperville dentist Hitesh Patel claims it's not only easier to wear, but may work better. The FDA uh, studies that were uh, submitted for FDA approval, one of the studies showed that uh, they had a decrease of 83% on the apneic events. That's huge. I'm excited about it, and I think it will, it's already changed the way I sleep. There are dozens of different kinds of these appliances, and the costs can run up to $4,000. Many people find they have to pay for it themselves. Insurance won't always cover it. The American Academy of Dental, Dental Sleep Medicine recommends patients look for a dentist who has been certified by its group. And finally, for people who don't want to worry about wearing any device, there's always surgery. That's also an option for some. It's a big problem for a lot of people. A lot yes, of people are interested in hearing about mm -hmm. these. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Thanks so. <laughs>